Today has finally arrived. America's Next Top Model season 24 is back, and so is the boss herself, Miss Tyra Banks. Hello. I'm Drew Elliott. I am the creative director of Paper and the creative consultant and judge on America's Next Top Model, and I'm here with the one and only Miss Tyra Banks. You're also co-owner of Paper Magazine. Are you gonna start talking like that now that you own a portion of your magazine? Hello, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, no. There's only one boss in these chairs right now, so let's get started. So before we dive into questions, I just want to tell you, make sure to stay tuned in because we have a special sneak peek preview of tonight's episode. And also leave your comments and questions below because Tyra is going to answer the tough and the juicy questions. Ooh. Bring them. <clears throat> so the first question I have, yeah. this season is all about one thing and I need you to explain it to us. What is Next Level Fierce? Next Level Fierce. Next Level Fierce is actually something that Drew Elliott, didn't you come up with Next Level Fierce? I came up with NLF. Oh, okay, so I said Next Level you are, Fierce. Yes. And then, okay, so I was like, this is Next Level Fierce season of Top Model, I'm back, 24th season, 24th cycle. And then Drew was like, Hashtag NLF. And I was like, ooh, you just made it a thing. It's a thing. Yes. In fact, why don't you like hashtag your questions with hashtag NLF? Maybe those are the ones that will answer. You have to put that in there. Did I just make it too difficult? You're creating a behavior. That's what we call this. <laughs> creating a behavior. I'm creating a behavior. But next level fierce means taking fierce to the next level. Because Top Model, we've been around for 24 cycles. We've been doing our thing. And these girls are learning how to be fierce. They come in knowing how to be fierce. Yeah. But so fierce is not just good enough. We've got to take it here. You can't just smize. You have to next level fierce smize and keep it in motion and keep your focus there. You know, so it's really just taking it to the next level. I love an explanation and a lesson, <laughs> an actual demonstration. So what can models do to be next level fierce? What, is it, what does it take? Yes. What's the, what are the ingredients? What are the ingredients of next level fierceness? Mm -hmm. First, it's study. You need to study your picture, study what you have done and how you can make that better. Are you always doing the same? Mm, 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 mm. This is for anybody. If you have a camera phone, you're a model. Are you always doing this? Are you always saying, oh, you gotta shoot me from above? Are you always saying, oh, let me just take out all my features on my face and just retouch it all out, just edit it all out? If you're doing that, change it up. What's new? What's fresh? Make yourself exciting. Think about social media feeds that you see and people, your friends, people are doing the same thing over and over again. That's fierce, but it's not next level fierce, honey. And you might just unfollow them like Selena Gomez just did a bunch of people. So <laughs> you need to like take it to the next. I don't blame her for unfollowing people. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do I? I think it's, I, I you know. <laughs> <laughs> Selena Gomez is next level fierce. She's like, next say level that. fierce, but you also don't know if she did it or if her people did it. And she's sitting there going, why did you guys do that? And, you know. You're, you're amazing. Um, speaking of celebrities, who did you think looked next level fierce on the Golden Globes? You know what is so weird? It's so hard for me to answer that question when it's like when it's all of the black dresses I and know. it's all together. So to me, it's like one big fierce dress. It's like it's not like a little black dress. It's like a little big black dress. Like it's just this big beautiful sea of blackness. Well, I think. I mean, I'll answer my question. I think um, <laughs> he's the, like this the, PC crap. Like <laughs> he's about to say who it is. No, here. Um, I think the the Times Up message. Yes. I think and how people interpreted that. I think that that is what next level fierce right? is. Right, that's next level fierce. I feel like to say this dress, that dress, even though Oprah looked damn good and that waist was snatched. But even though you know, we can't say that. We have to focus on the message. To me, this and, year and her message, fabulous. Whoa, her uh, message. But like, you know what, Oprah is always amazing like she is always amazing her speech last night just in general I mean she has done that to me on her talk show where I'm just sitting there back in the day like drawn in almost like slow motion on a on this like you know dolly going toward the camera like to me she just always is it's just the time to even recognize just how amazing she is because maybe people forgot but that's right. just who she is. She's not doing some presidential speech. She's just being herself. And or people maybe are just she is. ready. No, no, what I'm saying <laughs> is, or maybe she is, but what I'm saying is she's just that that's just always been her to me. Like she's just always amazing. So can you but talk I, if she was president, wouldn't that be 
Oh my gosh, I'll be, I'm running out oh to God. I'm running out right now to the to the to the ballots that aren't even open uh, and just waiting in line. Just waiting. <laughs> um, so let's talk a, a little bit about women empowerment. Um, it's in every season of America's Next Top Model. Yeah. So tell us a little bit when you were creating this. How are you creating a show that is more about um, not just being a model, yes. but being a strong woman? Talk being to a us strong about woman. that. Very important to me. I remember when I first started modeling and had the opportunity to go to Paris and um, actually to put college on hold for a bit, my mom said, this is called the modeling business, not modeling playtime. So study this business before you get on that flight to Paris. So to me, I look at you know these girls when I'm telling them smize, tooch, all that stuff. That's the fun and that's the surface. But are you on time? Do you understand this business? Can you take control of yourself? Do you understand how to manage your money? There's so many different levels to this that makes them a strong person and a strong sustainable person. Because in the modeling industry, in the fashion industry, it's very cyclical. It's very like, I love you today and not tomorrow. So what is your plan? And what are you thinking three years before that contract is up with that cosmetics company? Because it's going to be up. And what are you going to do next? So that, that's some of the empowerment that <clears throat> I talk about a bit in Top Model, but even more off camera to a lot of models, supermodels that you know of today that I mentor and talk to them about. Um, and then in terms of the empowerment for women, there's so many different versions of, versions of empowerment. I choose as my message that really fuels me to get up every morning to talk about the empowerment of the exterior and that we can fix it or we can flaunt it. I teach you how to, to flaunt, like you got cellulite and you got this, you got that, and nothing we can do about it. So we're just gonna be like boom, 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 that's it. Or you got the cellulite, you don't want to show that to the world, let me show you what you can wear to cover that up or tweak this or do that. To me, that there's a certain power in that because sometimes people put hate on a woman where she wants to glamorize herself or people hate a woman that doesn't want to do anything. And fixing it or flaunting it is both beautiful. I think that's a great <clears throat> message. And I think I think the other thing too that you are so great at pulling out is, is yes, there's a business and yes, there's a way to pose and yes, there's a way, but there's also a way to have fun yes. and to bring that fantasy and that excitement. And I think that you've done such a tremendous Thank job you. at that. Thank you. Um, so I wanna talk a, a bit about also, there is, you've changed the rules. You came back and you changed the rules. And mm. the main one being the age, age limit. Age. age, age, yes. You know, there are <clears throat> models that I used to work with and they, um, they tell me now that they're 10 years older than me. When we were modeling, they told me that they were two years younger than me. <laughs> yes. And uh, they said that they had to do that to get in the door. And I'm like, but you looked two years younger than me. They go, yeah, that's the point. Like, why did a modeling agency say no to me? Because I was, you know, I, I was, what, 17? Because that, that, I was 27. I had to lie to them and say I was like, you know, 16. Right. And so it just kind of sucks that they have to do that. And to me, I see age in two categories. I see it one as it's not about how old you are. It's about do you have the look that the client wants? Screw the number. And then if you do look a little older, I feel like there's beauty in, uh, in crow's feet. There's beauty in gray streaks. There's beauty in these things. But as women, we're told that that's not good enough. And once that happened to us, we're expired. So I want to show the beauty of age on top models. So I got rid of that age limit and it's gone forever. <laughs> and how do you think it impacted, without giving any spoilers, mm -hmm. um, how do you think it impacted this season? What are we, what are we gonna see? I think we see like battle of the um, generations, right? Like, yeah. I mean, you just have some young girls that are just kind of like clueless and new and young and fresh and these cults that are like, I don't know. And then you have this older one that's like, what's a social media? I don't understand, is it like media? Is it like a TV show where you socialize? <laughs> like clueless to that. So you just get like these both worlds that are colliding. And we also see some interest, um, aged runway walks. Oh, <laughs> do we? <laughs> yes, yeah, so like there's certain, like, you know, from a certain generation of models and they used to kind of model like this. <laughs> and they have to learn to just walk like they don't care, right? Totally. Um, so speaking of past seasons and, and seasons that you've done, um, let's talk about what are some of your favorite sorry. shoots? Still thinking about the runway walk thing. <laughs> In my head, I have the picture of the model that Drew's referring to that we're trying to coach her to like, take that away. Sometimes taking away bad habits is harder than hard. starting good ones. It's true. It's, true. it's interesting, but um, we want to talk about what are some of your favorite shoots from the past seasons and challenges. Past seasons of Top Model. 
You know, I loved our models posing with snakes. Yeah. Yes, I'll never forget my beautiful Robin Manning. Um, she was Miss Soybean from her hometown, and they put that snake around her face, uh, her neck, and she just was like, Jesus, 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 and she just kept saying the Lord's name over and over and over again. And then I was kind of coaching her, and she went from this to, and she got the most serene, beautiful shot. She, her mind went somewhere else. Right. Yeah. I love the pendulum one where they did the runway <laughs> and, the, and the pendulum. That's, that has to be one of my all time's favorites. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot. So okay. give us a one word tease of a memorable moment from this season. Mm. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Wait till you see the, wait till you see the episode. Oh. oh my gosh. Anyway, um, we're going to take some fan questions. Okay. Because uh, they've had enough of me. But I, let's, let's see what some people are asking us. Um, Leonardo asks, how has Top Model evolved since cycle one? Well, um, budget wise, we've come a long way. <laughs> We used to be smushed in this tiny room with blue velvet drapes covering that it was like a bed over there and a couch over there. We were in a hotel room with blue velvet drapes. Um, and people didn't know this, but right on the other side of that judging room was where the girls lived. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd show these shots of, ooh, they're going to judging. Like, cut to like the New York street. They're going to judging. Child, they're going next door. <laughs> so um, budgets have definitely um, gotten better. And I also think girls in the beginning didn't know you know, how to smize or how to walk a runway at all. Now girls come in ready. So as you said, we have to break habits as opposed to like teach them new, which is interesting. That was a really interesting thing this season, having worked on 23 and, and into 24. It's really interesting because the girls, they know so much mm -hmm. because they also, they know they're coming, so they study. Yes. So they know what you're looking for. So it's a little bit of, they, they kind of have an advantage. So yeah. do you ever feel like you have to just throw a curveball? I do, and we throw so many. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they know or they think they know. Or they see girls on Top Model and they see the girl maybe crying and having a hard time and they go, ah, oh, she's just so weak, what the heck? Like, it's so easy. Yeah. And then they get there and they're crying every single day because it's hard. It's I think difficult. that that's what people don't realize. Yes. At, at home, you know, it, it seems like a cakewalk yes. to get to do all these fancy shoots and all these things, but it is early mornings, it is late nights, yes. and it is like true rigor. It is rigor. I mean, sometimes they're getting five hours and then they gotta get going and, you know, it's kind of like the real world. <laughs> when you surprise them. <laughs> um, so um, Al Peren, if I, if I exploded that and did a horrible job, I apologize, um, asks, are we going to see old ANTM models during this cycle? Let's say former. But well, we are gonna see some older models and we are gonna see a former Miss Eva Marcel. <laughs> yeah, she was Eva Pigford on America's Sex Top Model for people that remember her. She's now Eva Marcel and she comes back and she's so beautiful. It's crazy. Like she has, she was beautiful on Top Model back in the day in season three, but she's now, I think, even more beautiful. And also just so like, she was like a little kid and like scruffy and scrappy in season three and now she's like a woman. She's a. She's like, like you've spent more time with her on set, so you got to really see her. She's truly gorgeous and knows exactly who she is mm -hmm. and has, has such a good grounding of what, what that is. And, and I'm so excited for that shoot. You're gonna gag. <laughs> um, so Francis asks, will this cycle be the best and will it be more high fashion? Will it be the best? Well, that's for you to decide. I think we are definitely taking this to the next level. We have more curvy girls than ever. We've taken off this age limit. I'm back and Drew is here. So you know it's gonna be high fashion, honey. What do you think? Why do you think he's here? The first episode <gasps> is so high fashion. There is a fashion show that is like, uh, uh, it, you're not ready for this high fashion. You're just not ready. You gotta put some sunglasses on because it's gonna like burn your eyes. It's so amazing. <laughs> some of those looks, I. What's I, gagging, right? I, they're physics defined. Yeah, I yes, guess I, that's true. Yes, that physics true. defined. Um, Robbie asks, what models do you think are next level fierce working today? I'm obsessed with Bella Hadid. That girl, what? 
she said Christy Turlington or something to me. Her face and how she poses from a professional photo shoot even to her Instagram is amazing. Right. And super cool, like we shot her for paper and did her, you know, blonde hair and totally punked her and she could own it just in the same, in flawlessly. Yeah, I, I love her. I really, really do love her. And um, she's a fan, a big fan of Life Size. She's like my DM friend about Life Size. Really? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, she likes Life Size, which I think is so cute because you see her pictures and she's like, darling. And then she's like, oh yeah, Life Size is coming back! You know, it's really, it's really sweet. Hi, she's a sweetheart. I love that you're a DM buddy. <laughs> Anyone else we should know? Hi, Lindsay <laughs> Lohan. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. Wow, you are you're mega. <laughs> Slide into those DMs. Um, Eddie asks, being a mom now, is it difficult to work on ANTM and still be a mommy? I have a nursery next to my dressing room, and so my son comes to set a lot. He, when we start filming, he's like, bye, 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 mommy. I don't know. He just likes the, be, like, before. He likes me and catering and eating and getting my makeup done and hanging out. But when I'm shooting, he's like, oh, mommy's talking to people. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Alexander asks, describe Next Level Fierce in three words. Is this a trick question? I, there, I'm just reading off the <laughs> iPad. <laughs> it's a very clever question because I want to say next level fierce. <laughs> okay. Fiercely levelated nextopia. Can we get a check that all those are actual words? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'm super, super excited. What the hell did I just say? I don't know what you said, but you, it <laughs> sounded it sounded next level fierce ish esque. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> so, what you're interviewing me and doing all this? This man is so talented and so dedicated and such an artist. I mean, he turned me into a tiger. Like I had tiger stripes on my body for for paper magazine and for digital cover of your magazine and. But what he does to our models and your creativity and your marketing savvy and just his dedication. People see him sitting on a desk. They see him like da, da, da. They don't know. He's damn near like a producer on our show. He works his ass off. Everybody needs to know that. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I think us together. It's I, Tyra and I texting <laughs> at like 3 in the morning. How do we do this? What's this light look <laughs> yes. like? What do you think about this? Here's a reference. And I'm just like, we need to go to bed because we have to be there at 6. <laughs> Um, but you guys are in for a very special treat. This is this is amazing, and thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you. I love it, and I think this season is going to be next level fierce. So make sure to stay tuned in. You're going to get an exclusive sneak peek of what's happening tonight. You can join you can join me on Instagram Live after the premiere of America's Next Top Model, and I'm gonna answer even more of your questions after you've met all of our contestants. So make sure to. Um, to use the hashtag ANTM, and it's tonight at 8, 7 central on VH1. We'll see you there. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> this is our first photo shoot of the season, so I'm looking for the authentic self of these girls. They need to bring their personality to life, because any moment, these girls could be eliminated. That's right. Wow. Amazing. That's nice. Yeah, amazing. How this looks on your body. Yeah. That's fabulous. You gave it. Beautiful. Ooh, careful, careful. Now, Liz, do something where you look beautiful instead of like drunk. <laughs> See, I like that. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's nice. I like this variety. This looks amazing. Pressure's on. I have to win over Law. Law doesn't like me. You're a really pretty girl, but I think this is more of a pretty country singer, and this is your album cover. I have to show him that I'm not an actress or a country singer, yeah. that I'm high fashion model. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Look up your head a bit. Amazing. Put it in your brain. I'm the queen of the butterflies, and this is how I roll. Next Top Model returns tonight at 8, only on VH1.